avoid mutating a prop directly. Let's take a look at a code example. Here I have a to-do list component that defines a list of to-do items. A to-do item consists of an ID, a name, and a completed flag. In the template of the component, we render the list of to-do items, which is a separate view component. And we pass the to-do item as a property to this component. Let's take a look at the implementation of the to-do item component. As you can see, the component accepts the to-do as a property and it renders its name in the template. Additionally, we show the completed flag as an input checkbox, where we pass the completed property to the V model of the input. And as we are using ESLint in this code example, we see that we get an error. And the error is that we have an unexpected mutation of our to-do prop. Why is this a problem? We want to write components that are easy to maintain. In a maintainable component, only the component itself should be able to change its own state. Additionally, only the component's parent should be able to change the props. In our example, the to-do list is the parent and only the list should be able to change the props. If we mutate the props, we violate both rules and break views one-way data flow. How can we solve that? In most cases, the error can be solved using a computed property. So let's define, in this case, a writable computed property. I have to import the missing imports. We need to write the props in a variable. And now we have a writable computer, a writable computed property, which has a getter and a setter. What's also missing is we need to define the emits. And now the example is ready. So we have a writable computer property. The getter returns the value of the prop and the setter emits a new value. So here we have emit, we emit the event update completed and the value of the emit event is a new object which has the complete, an updated completed state. Finally, we need to change the V model to use our new, how is it called, completed input model. So that's fine from the to-do item component. What we now need to do in our to-do list component is we need to react on this event. So we want to have the um, update completed event. At update completed, we want to call a function at on update completed. Let's implement that method. And in the callback on update completed, we update the list of to do's by updating the to-do item with the corresponding ID. And if we now go back, so we see that here the error is gone. We have no ESLint error. And if we switch to the running application, we can see that it, is work, that it works. And I can click on completed and it updates the completed state of the corresponding to-do item.